do you have one of these? We have an iPad 6th generation we bought for our grandchild. Uh, he just accidentally happened to put a passcode on this thing. And of course you push, you know, you try to enter in a passcode and it'll first it'll tell you you're locked out for a minute, and then five minutes, and 15 minutes, and then an hour. So if you go through that process, here's the steps you have to take. You gotta push the volume up button one time, volume but down button one time, and then the sleep button. You hold it in. And then it'll give you the prompt to shut down. Once you get it shut down, make sure you got iTunes on a Windows um, computer of some sort. If it asks you to update it, update it. And it'll usually have you reboot it. Once you get that done, plug your cord into the computer. And as soon as you plug the cord into your tablet, hold the home button in. Keep it pressed in. And then once you get pressed in long enough, it'll pop up this screen right here. Okay, whatever you do, don't push the done button. That's on the bottom of that screen. <laughs> I gotta start all over again. Okay. Okay, I had to do it all over again because I pushed that done button down there. Don't do that. So this is the prompt you get. Okay, after you shut it down, you gotta hold the volume, or press the volume up, volume down, and then hold in the sleep button. And it gives you the prompt to shut it off. You shut it off. And you plug this in, and as soon as you plug it in, hold the home button down until this prompts up. This will prompt, and you'll get this. Now we'll go in here to restore. contacting the server. Now, I didn't get this last time I did it, so hopefully I'm not running into another issue. I'm not a technician, by the way. I'm just a grandpa. Okay, here we go. Restore and update. Yes. Okay, it says here, iTunes is downloading the software for this iPad and will restore your iPad when the download is complete. Well, you see this button down here, it says done. I don't know, I thought I was supposed to clear the page out of the way. Click that, bam. <laughs> don't do that. So just let it sit here. Apparently it's downloading the software and when it's done doing that, it's gonna pump it into the uh, iPad, restore it. That's what our hope is. Okay, learn from my mistakes, people. Thanks. About 10 minutes in, still nothing here. Just sitting here looking the exact same way it was. We'll see how it goes here. I'll give it more time. Something new. There's this little tab up here on top, going around and around, showing the download. So this is how much time I have left. But in the meantime, this went out of... Um, Restore mode. So I'm going to have to put it back into restore mode. But I'm going to let this finish first. Because it's possible. I don't know what happens. Maybe after it's done downloading, it will re engage this. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to leave it be for now. Okay, so this timed out, of course, because this was taking too long. Apparently, this shuts off, I don't know, about 15 minutes. And you had to go through the process of rebooting it and connecting it again. And when I did it, this popped up something said there's an issue with my iPad. It needs to be updated first. So I clicked the update button and it says it's done updating now. But it also says iPad recovery mode. iTunes is preparing to restore the software on the iPad. So back to the waiting process. I apologize for not knowing anything about iTunes. I don't use this. I don't know anything about it. Um, Google search is what brought me here to how to do this. So this is the process I'm trying to complete. We'll see what happens next. Okay, so up here it says extracting software, preparing iPad for restore. 
think we're finally getting somewhere. Yeah, this green just went black. And we got a preparing iPad for restore, and we got the Apple icon again. So you're seeing in real time someone who had a real struggle with this. And this is how you fix it, apparently. Waiting for iPad, it says. Another sound like something was plugged in. Now we're back to preparing iPad for restore. Ah, looky here, guys. We got a bar now. So it is in the restore process. All right, we'll let you know when we're done here. Moving along quickly. You know, from the process of Googling this, trying to figure out how to fix it, watching a couple YouTube videos, but of course the tablets were different slightly. So the combination, button combination was different. But after typing in the sixth generation, iPad sixth generation, and looking for the key combination, that's how I was able to find that you have to do, you press the up volume, down volume and hold in the sleep button until it shuts itself off. You plug in the cord. Of course, that's after you plugged in here and that's after you have iTunes installed. You plug in the cord and as soon as you plug it in, start holding that home button down and it pops up a restore symbol. Then you can look over there and you'll see your box that pops up for the restore. Of course, it needed updated too, so you gotta look for that if it fails the first time. It's probably because it needs updated. And this is an old laptop running on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so it's slower than what this wants. So I actually had to reboot this again. Had to do the turn off process and the plug-in process all over again. And then once it was done downloading, it just automatically went through the steps. And it's restoring the iPad now. But this has basically been a half day process for me. Like I say, I'm not a tech. I don't know anything about Apple devices. I absolutely know nothing about iTunes, but it appears to be working. So I think we'll just step away here for a little bit and let it finish up. Hello everybody, here's the culprit. <laughs> this is Jackson. Hi. He's my grandson. Yes, I am. And he's the one that decided he was going to be a computer hacker. And I'm get... not a computer hacker. Yep, and I know what happened is because uh, I saw it on my iPad too. Um, there was something pushed out wanting you to put in the passcode or face recognition for new security. And you had the, the option to you know to not do that or do it and it popped up on him probably and he you know like most kids just start clicking the buttons and uh that's what happened right Jax? yeah it just popped up on you although he is pretty good at getting into the settings on these things and changing stuff oh, yeah. <laughs> well he <laughs> promises he's not going to do that anymore right yeah i promise all right sir that is awesomeness we're almost done it says verifying ipad restore and i started the download process it was quarter after uh, two. two and it is now or it was quarter after one yeah. and it is now two o'clock mm -hmm. so that's how long it's taken to do this but i think a lot of it has to do with the fact that this is an older laptop it's the only thing i got in the house it's got windows on it yeah i know everything else is either tablets phones or something of that sort or linux man we're getting it yeah hopefully look at it, it's almost done maybe if we just wait here just a second this thing will get done yeah let's see if it well, it looks like it's thinking. We're just going to let it think. We'll come back. So apparently it has restored it. It says verifying the iPad restore now. So You want to say hi again, buddy? Okay, here, buddy. Here's hi. Here's Jackson. My Jackson. name is Jackson. Yep. You had a traumatic brain injury, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yep, so we had to go through a lot of stuff with that. But he's in good shape now. Yep. Other than for one side. One side of his body's not working properly. Yeah. But he gets around good. 
And, and then all that one is. Yep. And. And he's pretty smart. Yeah, I'm pretty smart. Yep. So smart enough to hack this thing and keep me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but we're almost done here. All right, guys. This just popped up. It's so exciting. Your iPad has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Let's see if it's true. Now we're going to let it go. Now we're going to see here, buddy. Not going to touch nothing yet. You can look. You can just look. I can't set it on that thing here. We're just going to let it sit here for a second. You can see it pop up for the first time. Oh, my life! It's so exciting after all this trouble. It only took me a half a day. Papa Sun's night step on. Squidward. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> That's going to burn. All right. Come on, man. I thought I was going to get to show everybody the, the screen. So, yeah, so we're going to turn it off. Wait till it get ready to pop up closer here. It's still not. Oh, oh it's changing language on me. <laughs> What is it doing, people? Still has a lock on it. Please. Not touching it. Hold on, buddy. Wait. iPad locked to owner. Uh, when did it turn off? Oh, no. I don't think this worked. Let's see. Oh, maybe it did. Maybe it worked. Well, what was it doing before? Appearance. I'm just going to leave it. Looking for a nearby device. Oh, here we go. I've got my phone sitting around here. I don't know if it works, if this works with this old of a tablet. Yeah, I know. But it's old. How old is it? Well, I think it's going to be okay. We'll let you know here for sure. Well, after a bit of a scare, we did it. <laughs> we successfully successfully got rid of the passcode and restored this thing. Is this When it first booted up, it said it was locked to owner. And I was going, oh, we didn't get out of it. But that basically just means you got to set up your uh, Apple ID yeah. information in there. And it worked just fine. So that's how to do it, guys. A little bit of a pain, but we're back to normal. Thanks.